How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slap Tam. Today we're looking at the creepiest things spotted in children's playgrounds. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more scary content just like this. When amateur ghost hunter Al Capone 3 visited a haunted playground in Brooksville, Florida, he and his team were hoping to encounter some paranormal activity. They were not disappointed. This particular playground got its reputation due to the abundance of haunted sites located nearby. Just down the street from the playground is the historic May Stringer House, a home with a very creepy backstory. John May built the home in 1856, only to die tragically two years later. His wife remarried and had children with her new husband, but sadly died in childbirth. Not long after, her daughter Jessie died at the age of three. All were buried on the property. According to the stories told by the second owner, Jessie is the most prominent ghost, often heard calling out for her mother and seen watching over her doll collection. However, as many as eight ghosts, some malevolent, are said to haunt the property. In addition, the courthouse just across the street from the playground is said to be haunted by the ghost of a prisoner, who attempted to escape only to be shot by a bailiff. It's said that blood stains still occasionally appear on the walls where he died. The property where the playground was built was donated to the courthouse by none other than John May. The ghost hunters explore the playground late one night. They're quickly startled by a gate swinging open on its own. Whoa. The ghost hunter then claims he can hear voices all around him. I keep hearing those voices again. Not long after, they also come across a swing moving while the others remain still. There's clearly no breeze that could be making it move so regularly. It's cool though. It is cool. But I can't stop it's looking the only at it. One. If this playground is indeed haunted, it's unclear whose spirit could be lingering. Perhaps it's one of the unfortunate May children who met their ends just up the road. I feel like it's just someone swinging and watching us. Often, one of the creepiest things seen in children's playgrounds are swings that seem to move though no one is around. In this video uploaded to YouTube by Raul Singh, a playful spirit appears to take a ride on an innocent looking swing set. Filmed in the middle of the day at Kayala B Block Park in India, the video shows a single swing moving even though no one's nearby. At first, it moves back and forth normally, and even though these movements could be caused by a strong wind, another swing mere inches away remains perfectly still. Soon, the swing's movements begin to change. At one point, it almost comes to a complete stop before starting to move again. The swing then begins to sway from side to side and in wide circles, completely different from its previous movements. All the while, the other swing remains motionless. After filming for about 30 seconds, the man behind the camera runs away from the potentially haunted playground. However, before he leaves, he manages to capture one last wide-angle view of the equipment. This shot clearly shows there's no accomplices hidden nearby to pull the swing with fishing line or wire. It appears that this playground might have captured the attention of a real fun-loving spirit. A playground is a great place for a family outing when you have a young child. However, you may want to steer clear of those that could be potentially haunted, such as the one in this video. This footage shows a mother, father and a young girl having a nice afternoon running around on a playground. There aren't many other children there, so the little girl is able to run and play without being disturbed. The majority of the footage appears normal. The parents attempt to keep up with the lively toddler as she erratically runs from one piece of playground equipment to the other. However, when the parents later viewed the footage, something seemed to miss. 
As the young girl was running along the top of a jungle gym, another child appeared, peeking out from behind a metal bar. <laughs> Spotting other children at the playground isn't usually cause for alarm, but this girl gave the parents pause. The child on the video has a ghostly white face. In addition, her hair and clothes seem to be the same eerie shade of white, almost as if she's rendered in black and white, while everything around her is in vibrant colour. The way the girl looks at the camera is also frightening, but what happens next is truly chilling. If you slow the footage down, you'll notice that the ghostly girl has vanished completely. The daughter in the video runs and plays, mostly oblivious to the fact that her parents are filming her. The few other children in the background similarly ignore the camera. However, the pale child stares unmoving into the camera's lens, her gaze never roaming or faltering. There's no clear explanation for this ghostly child, but her appearance is nevertheless chilling. Has this family actually managed to capture a ghost on camera? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. According to this clip uploaded to YouTube by Kay Sutton, some ghosts might visit haunted playgrounds for exercise rather than fun. At least that seems to be the case in this particular video. The footage shows an elliptical machine at an outdoor playground. The left pedal of the machine is gently swinging back and forth while the riot remains completely still. Been swinging for about five minutes. According to the cameraman, the pedal had been moving for around five minutes before he began to film. The air is still, making it difficult to believe the wind could be moving the machine. In addition, a breeze would most likely move both pedals instead of just one. Just a little bit freaky. The clip shows the cameraman panning around the playground, making it clear that there's no one else nearby who could be manipulating the equipment with string or wire. The cameraman also claims that before filming, he touched the machine with his hand, but even this didn't stop it from moving. I don't know why, I haven't touched it. I've just been checking the surf. It's clear that something very strange is happening at this playground, but is it really paranormal? For now, the answer will have to remain a mystery. It's a little bit eerie. What could be a more fitting place for a haunted playground than a creepy old graveyard? In this video, shared to YouTube by Wartorn Productions, a trip to a playground that has been the center of local urban legends goes terribly wrong. The video is shot at the aptly named Dead Children's Playground in Huntsville, Alabama. The area is said to be a mecca for ghost hunters, as it's located within the state's oldest cemetery. Why would someone build a playground in a graveyard? No one knows for sure, but the space has supposedly been plagued by supernatural happenings ever since. Swings are said to move on their own, cold bright orbs have appeared, and some even claim to have seen ghostly children playing on the equipment late at night. In the video, a ghost hunting team spends quite some time exploring the area, only to be disappointed by the lack of paranormal activity. Like with how much people say goes on down here, I don't understand why, like we haven't seen a swing move, we haven't heard any kids, we haven't heard anything. It doesn't make any sense, like we haven't even seen the orbs or whatever. One member of the team is casually rocking back and forth on a swing when he suddenly stops and stares into the distance. Go, what's wrong? His friends ask him what's wrong, only to be met by silence. Suddenly, he begins to scream the word no while running towards a nearby wall. What is he looking at? Was it up by the bench? No, 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 no. His friends attempt to hold him back, but he easily overpowers them, screaming like a banshee. <laughs> they catch up to him eventually, finding him staring at the wall intently. Cole, we gotta go. Bro, Dude, we gotta go. go. <sighs> As they try to pull him away, he begins yelling at the wall. The last shot the group manages to capture shows him screaming and running frantically towards the nearby graveyard. I'm coming, hold on. Whoa. 
Yeah. The footage then cuts before we're able to find out what happens next. Go get him. Put that down. Put that down. We gotta we're go done. get him. No, we're done. We're done. We're done. That's when Scotty Denton took his two children to a local playground in Rhode Island, he was expecting a playful afternoon with his son and daughter. However, when the car pulled up to the playground, the kids quickly changed their minds about using the equipment. From the front seat of the car, the family records the bizarre spectacle outside. Several yards away, one of the swings is erratically moving back and forth. There's no wind. Look at the other swings. And look at this. There's no one around and the other swings are perfectly still in the calm air. Do you want to go to a different playground? There's nobody out there. The family watches for several minutes as the swing continues to frantically move, despite the lack of wind to give it a push. At times it even seems to speed up, making it impossible for someone to have pushed it and then left. Scotty and his children have no idea what caused the bizarre activity in this playground, but it seems they made a smart move and headed home. So what do you think was responsible for the swing's creepy movements? Could it really have been something supernatural? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a video that's captured some truly chilling audio. Remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there. That way you'll get notifications every time we upload our scary and creepy videos. In this video by YouTuber Omni Games, a group of teens enter a supposedly haunted playground late one night, and soon discover something rather chilling. As the teens play on a seesaw, the faint sound of a crying child can be heard. When one girl asks her friend if she's okay, a voice seems to reply saying, No, don't hurt me, please. The group was too far away from the camera for their voices to be heard on the microphone, and there's no one else nearby. If you play it back again, the voice is chillingly clear. It's not uncommon for video recordings to occasionally pick up unexplained sounds and voices. This is known to ghost hunters as electronic voice phenomenon, or EVP for short. So who do these disembodied voices belong to? For now, no one seems to have a good answer to this question. If you want more creepy content just like this, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a scary playlist there you can binge on for hours. Leave us a comment down below or hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 